The Little Rock Police Department has a message for people causing trouble during this pandemic. The law breaking stops right now. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. THV 11's Ashley Godwin is live tonight in Little Rock with much more on exactly who is causing problems in the capital city. Ashley. Marlisa, in the past two weeks, LRPD has given out 500 traffic tickets and made 200 arrests for road violations, but a significant portion of those are teenagers. The LRPD saying they're trying to keep our kids and our community safe and out of trouble. Any empty lot, <laughs> they're pretty much racing on any empty lot. We'll, we'll patrol heavy on Asher and then they'll go to Colonel Glenn or we'll patrol heavy uh, on Sloan and then they'll run up to Asher. Since the beginning of the year, LRPD has seen more illegal racing, caravanning and roadway infractions. I know I patrol one night, it was over 300 cars running down Asher. It was uh, bumper to bumper traffic. We couldn't even respond to get ahead of them to set up traffic details because we were uh, bumper to bumper. Just in the last two weeks, LRPD has given out 500 traffic tickets and made 200 arrests related to incidents like this. They say people are also hanging out in parking lots and doing donuts, like at the Cinemark movie theater on Colonel Glenn. But it's not just adults that are creating havoc. The juvenile crimes have increased all over. During the summer, kids are outside more since school is out, but that also means LRPD sees more kids and teens getting into trouble. We have seen an increase of uh, juveniles uh, in possession of handguns and a few arrests for this juvenile being in possession of uh, marijuana. To resolve this, LRPD is cracking down on the juvenile curfew and ramping up patrol where they are getting more complaints. I understand people want to have fun. You know, juvenile kids, they're tired of being at home. I understand that. But I think everybody needs to think about the safety, you know, the safety of the community, the complaints that we're getting uh, from some of the people in the community uh, and as well as the business owners about the damage to the property. And that juvenile curfew on Sunday through Thursday is from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Friday and Saturday, it's midnight to 5 a.m. If a child is caught past curfew, they could pay, face a citation. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Ashley Godwin.